She's not a villain. I'm, just, just so you know, I'm gonna start rolling now. You do whatever you gotta do. The first question I have, mm -hmm. just to set the table, just tell us what your name is, how mm -hmm. we spell it. Catherine Gregory, C-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E. G-R-E-G-O-R-Y. And you're the former animal control officer? I'm the former animal control officer for the town of Jamestown. I was employed with the town from 1999 to 2010 when my position was budget cut. I've known Ian for 30 plus years. You can see the outpouring of support and love for that woman today. She is not a villain. Um, she has recently lost her mother. If any of you have ever lost a family member and you're in a place of despair, uh, it's my firm belief that perhaps that day she made a bad decision. A decision that she's going to have to live with the rest of her life. She's already suffering enough. She's been brutalized on social media. She has been brutalized by total strangers. I think that courtroom is probably the most packed it's ever been. They asked people to leave so that people that were there for court business other than for Anne could have a seat. I think that people should wait and not rush to judgment. What experiences have you had with Anne in the past, obviously before today? I mean, had you ever been involved with her as far as Absolutely. your professional capacity with animals she saved? Describe that. Prior to prior to my position as an animal control officer, I owned a pet sitting service that uh, handled over 40 dogs a day. Um, I, I ran that for 10 years. Anne was one of my clients. Anne has been more than indulgent with her time, her money, and her love of animals. She has fostered so many animals while waiting for their forever homes. Um, this is a woman with a heart of gold, and she should not be villainized. I hope that all of you will understand that this community still supports her. We are here for Anne. And nothing's going to change that. For those that say that we don't love animals, I love animals. I am an advocate for the animals. This was a, a tragic event that she will never recover from. Those were her children. And I need everyone to know that. A, a woman we just spoke with moments ago mm -hmm. essentially was taking Jamestown Police, the chief in particular, to task saying that she shouldn't be facing this charge. I know you've got a little bit of a different As a former member of the department, which was under a different chief, I will say that I have faith in the department. I have faith that they will do a proper investigation. I hope that neither the department or the judicial system will use this as a case to, for animal cruelty. I don't believe that that's the case here. If you know Ian, if you know what she's about, we have people here from Save a Lab. She has worked with them for many, many years. We've had letters come in from veterinarians that have known Ian, one for more than 30 years. She has an impeccable record as far as caring for animals. It's a tough question, but, I, but I'm gonna ask, ask it. Mm -hmm. um, there are people out there hearing all this mm -hmm. and hearing about how much she's done for animals. Mm -hmm. And hearing that this was, you know, very likely, by all accounts, seems like a, a tragic accident Absolutely. on her behalf, would say, given her experience that she's had with animals that she should have known about, what would you say to those people? There's been so many scenarios. Like I said to you, we don't have all the information. What happened that day, we're just as curious as you are. In the small town that we're in, her father is gravely ill. She's been back and forth from one house to the other. She may have been en route to care for him. She may have been coming back from caring for him. She may have run in for one minute. In that small town, she left her car running. She left the AC on. She thought that she was doing the right thing. She was running in. This is a woman that's got a lot on her plate. She had the dogs with her, yes. She ran in to get something or get a few things. She may have been stopped by 15 or 20 people to give their condolences on the loss of her mother which just happened two weeks ago. This is a small, close-knit community. 
I'm sure she was in there longer than she expected. She never, she, I'm sure she never expected the air conditioning to either die or one of the dogs hit the button. My other question is, our market is the only place we have to go. One little market. There were so many people in that parking lot that day. No one saw the animals. No one went in. No one said there's a problem. I don't understand. There's many, many questions that are unanswered.